Hello everyone. If you want to improve your computer's performance without spending money on an expensive upgrade, overclocking your CPU is a great way to make your computer run faster. It allows you to squeeze more performance from a CPU by running it at a higher speed than factory settings. Basically, overclocking is a technique for running a processor at a higher clock rate or frequency than that for which it has been tested and approved by the manufacturer. Typically, overclocking involves manipulating the computer's BIOS to set a higher clock speed or multiplier. This is not always possible. However, especially in cases where the manufacturer has created safeguards against such kinds of modifications. Overclocking is pretty much associated with overheating if preventive measures are not put in place. Now the question is how to overclock a CPU. Well, honestly speaking, in order to overclock, you need an unlocked CPU or multiplier. All Intel K series, X series and Z series are compatible with overclocking. For example, Intel Core i9-10900K can be overclocked and Intel Core i9-10900F cannot. Intel sells these unlocked CPUs, especially for gamers who want to overclock and squeeze every bit of performance out of the CPU. Apart from Intel, if you have AMD CPU, any Ryzen processor can be overclocked. Ok, as you know, every CPU is set to run at a certain maximum clock speed. Now what is a clock speed, I have already explained in my previous video. You can watch by clicking on the link below in description. Anyway, I give you a brief overview. The speed at which a processor can execute instructions is called clock speed. It is measured in gigahertz or billions of cycles per second. During each cycle, CPU fetches and executes basic instructions. Alright, now let's see how it really works. Overclocking works differently for all CPUs. But first you will need to make sure your system has proper cooling system. Then check the temperature, it should be under 90 degree. After that benchmark your CPU with a utility like sign bench. It will help you to determine if overclocking is worthwhile or not. When you will run this tool, you will get a test score that you can compare before and after overclocking. Once you have checked these things, now enter your BIOS or UEFI by restarting your computer. Every computer has a different BIOS or UEFI but you will see some text like Advanced CPU Core Settings or OC Overclocking. This is where you will find the multiplier or CPU ratio settings to overclock the CPU. The first step to overclock the CPU is to increase the multiplier. This uses the base clock built into the motherboard, usually 100 MHz. For example, a multiplier of 35 would typically mean 3.5 GHz. Now gradually raise the multiplier by one number at a time across all the CPU cores. Then restart your computer. If everything goes right, repeat the process and keep overclocking until your computer becomes unstable. And when it starts crashing, decrease the multiplier by one number. Once you are done with overclocking, your computer becomes more responsive and runs the hardware as fast as possible. An overclocked computer can perform more instructions per second by increasing the CPU's clock rate and also significantly improves the processor ability to handle demanding workloads like those generated by video games. Let's suppose you have 3.6 GHz Intel Core i7-5820K series processor. You can overclock this processor up to 4.6 GHz by gradually increasing the multiplier to 46 and voltage to 2.1. Whatever the processor you have, you can check on the manufacturer's website up to what level you can overclock. Now here is a critical part of the topic. The more cores you overclock, the hotter and more unstable your system will become. So what happens in this case, you have to give more power to your CPU by increasing the voltage by one number. It's usually set to 1.25, increase this value slowly, for example to 1.4 or 1.5. This gives you a bit more room for overclocking. By increasing voltage and multipliers one by one, you will eventually find the maximum overclock on your system. But every time you overclock a CPU, your computer runs hotter. 
so make sure you have proper cooling system to avoid any issue that's why it is recommended to overclock gradually to avoid damaging your machine overclocking all at once can permanently damage your cpu after every step stress test your hardware with a utility such as prime 95 and also keep an eye on your cpu and system temperature if you push the cpu to run at a high multiplier it will crash and restart your system if you try to force too much voltage through your cpu it can kill it so proceed with caution okay now let me get your head around something really significant some bios have automatic overclocking options that are safer to use but they are not as rewarding as manual overclocking you know what the good thing is overclocking can also be done with software extreme tuning utility is used to overclock intel cpus and ryzen master utility is used to overclock amd processors one last thing to tell the downside of overclocking is when you overclock your cpu you are doing something you are not supposed to do with it this often void your warranty amd and intel don't cover overclocking all right so this was all about overclocking i hope this will help you thanks for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button